Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to lesson three, which I have titled Going Around in Circles. So what we are doing today is using our VEX VR coding platform to create shapes using some basic code instructions. And what I have here behind me is something that I already made that's way more complicated than what I'm expecting from you guys. This took me a little bit of time to work out myself, but there are some cool things in here that I think you guys might want to take on board and look at to see what's going on. So we want to be able to create triangles, squares, stars, and circles. And we also want to be able to make sure that we can send messages to the PC monitor. Now, on our coding program, the PC monitor is this button up the top right corner here. We press that and this monitor pops up. Now, this code that I've already got here is quite long, but it'll make sense once I start running it. So I'm gonna run this now. And the code says, let's draw some circles. So the code already knows what it's doing and now it is repeating a block of text 360 times. Every time it is turning a single degree. Well, if it's going one degree turns 360 times, what's it drawing? I think you guys can work out from now that we're drawing a circle in here. So the idea is, is depending on how you have set up your code, you can change the pen color, you can change how big the circle is, and now what it's done is it's, I've finished the loop. It's now moving on to the next block of code where it says, oh, change the pen to blue. The pen is now blue. And it's repeating that loop over and over again. And then the idea is once it gets to the other side, if it changes color again and keeps going, it will just simply draw over the black lines. And we don't want to do that. So we have to add in our own uh, extra step to make sure that it's not overlapping anything that we've already done. So what we'll do is we'll put a 90 degree turn in first and then change the color again. And now we're into the red pen. All right, and there's one more pen color after this. And I think you guys can look at my code and see what it's going to be because it's going to be green. And once it's, uh, once it's done, then we'll see what happens. But right now, all this code is doing is simply using loops to repeat the instructions. So I'm not having to tell it 360 times, go forward, turn, go forward, turn, go forward and turn. So now that I have reached the end, it's now telling me, oh, no, nope, I'm green now. So it's gonna do a green loop. And if I change up the top view, you can see there that's drawing some circles. And once it's finished, I'm actually gonna tell it to go back to the starting point. All right, and the whole time it's communicating with me, letting me know what it's up to in my code. So that if I was doing this for real, with real code, it would be able to tell me what it's doing in a written sense, so that, that way, if something goes wrong, I know whereabouts the error is. So it reaches the center here. Thinks he's done now. He's telling me time to go home and he zooms back. And what it does is it does the exact instructions that it did previously, but in reverse. And then at the end there, it says, honey, I'm home. And if you'll see, it is exactly where it was to start off with. All right, so your job today will be to create some basic shapes. You don't have to create anything, any fancy piece of art like I have there, but the idea will be that you are drawing things on your blank canvas. All right, and remember the blank canvas is found under the grid map, or you can go to the art canvas playground which is completely blank and you start in the center. All right, that's an important thing for 
your code for on the previous playground, I had to set up and make it move to where it needed to go. So depending on the playground you use depends on what sort of code you need to do at the start. All right, but ideally you are doing your drawings in the middle of your page. So what you'll need to do is you will need to make sure that you are taking screenshots of your code, that you are showing us your code and the output. So for example, I showed you guys what my code did at the end. It drew the four circles that all had the same starting point. And then it went back to the start and down the bottom there. I sh showed you my production, what it produced as I was going along. And you can now look through the here to see all the steps that I had to do to get there. All right, so you guys will need to do a triangle, a square, a circle, a star, Try using different colors. Let's see if you can, let's see if you can randomize the color. Make it change the pen colors, maybe. All right, this is part of you to be sort of expressive and go as complicated as you want. I'm sure some people are going to go something well beyond what I've drawn up there, uh, but that's a challenge for you guys.